Yeah, I just spent $40 on duct tape. Hey guys, so today is kind of a different video type thing I'm gonna try because I just purchased $40 of duct tape on Amazon. So, right now there's no going back. So there's like this thing that the duck brand duct tape does every year and it's called Stuck It Prom. And so basically you make a prom dress out of duct tape. And I was like, I like making dresses. I'm gonna try this. And so I've been playing around with some prototypes with like some duct tape I had around the house. Now I have this. So I'm like making a bustier type thing right now. And I like, I was like, okay, so I guess I purchased my duct tape. I'm doing this for real now. Let's vlog it. <laughs> but I have this like prototype now for the bustier top I'm like planning on. But I kind of thought that I would just like take you guys along for the ride with me and see if I can actually do this and see what it turns into and yay! So here's my sketch that I already kind of have going. This is kind of, kind of the idea. And so I think I'm going to do it out of a blue that I just purchased a bunch of. So yeah, working on the prototype so that I can cut it out of my actual fabric and kind of pattern it. And I also have these zip ties for my corset and some that I melted. But yeah, I thought I'd kind of hit pause on it and start recording it for you guys so you can see me torture myself with duct tape. Yay. So on the first day of this project, I didn't obviously have the actual duct tape I was gonna use in. So I was working with what I had around the house from when I got really into making duct tape wallets. So I used all that old duct tape to kind of make some prototypes and see what I actually wanted to do with my actual duct tape so that I would use less in the process and save myself some good old money because I used more than I would like to admit for this project, honestly. Hiya, I didn't see you there. So as you can probably see, I got in my duct tape and I have, I think like, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, so I have three downstairs too. So that means I have 13 rolls of duct tape. So I think it's time we get started on this dress. Also today is like 100 degrees and my room is extremely hot. So I gathered all my stuff and we're gonna move downstairs. We'll be right back. <laughs> so on the first day of breaking with the actual duct tape, I basically just took apart my prototype and used that as a pattern piece for my actual duct tape. And after the first night of working, I basically made the whole bodice front. All right, so after the first day of working with the actual duct tape, this is what I have, and I'm pretty proud of it. I'm happy with this detail. This is um, zip ties I'm using as boning. So it gives it a little bit more structure, a little bit more shape. So I think today I'm going to try to tackle the skirt because I'm still not really sure what I want to do at the back. So I think I'm going to do the skirt first and then kind of see what I'm going to do there. And I don't know what straps I'm doing yet either. So I think we're gonna do the skirt first and see how that goes. So for the skirt, I basically used the prototype I made again. And my plan was to make six of these panels and then put them together so they would make the shape that I wanted. And so basically at first I was just layering it on top and adding some clear panels in between, but that was not being as consistent as I wanted. So I ended up having to cut all the pieces apart and I made all of the pieces individually. So like a total of 24 pieces and then put the four pieces together for each panel with the clear strips in between and then put those six panels together. And during the process of making all those panels, I took lots of breaks doing other parts of the dress like making a bunch of flowers and working on the corsage and stuff. All right, so I just finished all six of my skirt panels, my huge skirt panels, but they're all here. And I didn't take it into account, but it's actually very heavy, so that'll be interesting. And then I did silver on all the backs so that it would match all the silver accents I'm doing. And then I've also cut out a ton of flowers. I think this is over a hundred flowers. So I'm gonna try to cover it in those. And then I also am working on the corsage, which I think is really pretty. I'm really excited about it. So next I cut the top of the panels so that they would fit perfectly when I put them all together and not have any extra wiggle room. And then I basically taped them into one giant skirt. And I was really excited to try it on. So I finally put like all the skirt panels on. Um, the problem is they're kind of doing the opposite of what I want. So I'm gonna try to like put things in so that they 
bow out instead of going in. We'll see. So next I added tabs into all the sections of the panels and then I cut out clear strips of duct tape and taped them to the tabs so it'd be kind of forced to bow in and keep its shape. So now because of the shape of the skirt, it doesn't lay flat and if I set it down anywhere, it creases like crazy. So as you can see, I have taped it to my mantle. So let's get working. <laughs> so next I was adding decorative strips of silver down all of the seams of the skirt and avoiding the transparent areas. And then I also did futz with the tabs a little bit on the back so they were all even and would lay more uniformly. I also worked on figuring out how I was gonna get the dress on and off. So I ended up putting a fly type thing in the back so at the end I could tape it up. And then I made the back of the bodice and then I finally attached the bodice to the dress. All right, so here's the first looks at the dress. It's so pretty. So I finally finished the back of the bodice and it looks good. Figured out how to attach it. It needs a little bit of work, but we're getting there. So now I just have to put flowers on it and finish doing the corsage and the hair piece and put straps on it. <laughs> So next I worked on making the corsage and I actually had a lot of fun making the corsage. I didn't think I would love it as much as I did, but I ended up pulling out some pearls and some wire and, and some glitter and just putting together something I was really proud of actually. And I think it's genuinely really, really pretty, even if it's duct tape. And then I also decided to work on the straps. So for the straps, I decided to do these flowers on this clear tape so it would look like they're cascading down my back. And then that night I also decided to work more on the corsage and on the hairpiece. And the hairpiece took me a few tries, I wasn't totally sure what I was going to go with, but I ended up really loving the design. So I've made a ton of progress today and I made a hairpiece and I think it's really, really pretty. I really like it. And I'm going to put a clip on the back once I get that in. And then I also finished the corsage today and I think it's also really pretty. I'm really happy with how these turned out. I think they're so cool. And then here is the straps that I'm going to put on the dress, but I think I'm gonna to try to do that now. And so then I have to attach that, attach a bunch of flowers. I'm probably going to have to cut more, even though I had over a hundred in here. And we're getting there, we're almost done. So to attach the straps, I basically had to put the dress on and see exactly where I wanted the straps to be. And then I just taped them in place super, super well. And at this point, the dress was a little bit hard to manage just because I couldn't really place it down on a table because the duct tape would kind of crease and I was trying to just keep it as straight as possible because you can't really iron duct tape. So next I decided to work on making even more flowers and also working on the purse. So basically I just cut out a really big flower for the purse and I also added some cardstock in between it so it would give it a little bit more stiffness. And then I cut out some strips and put that around the perimeter of the purse and then I sandwiched that basically in between them. And then I cut out some smaller flowers and layered them on top of the purse. And I did alternate putting sparkles in some of them and not in others so that they would have a little bit more dimension. And then I worked on cutting out even more and more flowers. And basically the way I was doing this is I was doing a layer of clear duct tape, a layer of silver duct tape, putting glitter in and then another layer of clear so that the glitter would give it a little bit more dimension and then folding it and cutting it out. And then I went ahead and started attaching some of the flowers to the dress. So here are the shoes that I made. I just basically like decorated with them with flowers and then I also added this blue block heel. And I think they're pretty cute. I think they go really well with the dress. And so I was trying to stick on my like over 200 hand cut flowers onto the dress. Um, and I was using these little like stickies that I made. But I did that yesterday and then today I tried to pick up the dress and 10 of them fell off. So that's not really gonna work. So I think I'm going to have to hand stitch every single one on with this like heavier duty thread that I have and go from there. So it's gonna take me a while. And then I also have finished corsage, the finished hair piece, and I attach a little clip to it. And I also have my earrings that I'm going to switch those out for pearls so that they go with the theme a little bit better. And then I also ordered some lights on Amazon that I'm going to try to put under the dress and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Wish me luck. So then I, you guessed it, cut out even more flowers, this time while watching television. And then I went to sew each and every single one on by hand, which took me about two hours to just finish one small section of the panel. And I'm pretty good at tedious work, but it was going to be difficult. <laughs> All right, so at this point, the dress is pretty much done. I'm just trying to figure out what to do at the bottom because yesterday I spent like two hours sewing flowers on like this but I honestly don't like it. <laughs> and I have cut out about probably like 300 flowers. 
and suffered a lot and sewed those on for hours, but I think we're just gonna tear it all off because, you know, that's what I do to myself. And I'm thinking about just putting on these giant ones because I feel like it'll go a lot better and be a lot more balanced, whereas I feel like these are just really busy and just, I'm not a fan of them. I'm really not. So time to cut them all off, yay! So then I said scratch that and I had to cut all of my flowers off, all of my hard work, but I knew that I was gonna like this design better. So then I worked and I cut out even more flowers and counted them out so that each panel would have the same amount. And then I taped them in place where I would want them and then I hand stitched them all on individually again. And then my lights came in. So basically I had to unwind all the lights and then I measured the length that they needed to be to be worn under the dress. And then I basically folded them up a bunch of times because they were really, really long. And then I made a belt out of duct tape and attached all the lights to it. And then all I basically had to do was work really, really hard and sew all of the rest of the flowers on. So I just stitched on the last flower and I'm just, I'm really excited for you guys to see it. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think it's so pretty. And here's the finished duct tape dress. I'm actually genuinely like so proud of it because I really wasn't totally sure what I could do with duct tape because it is such an unusual material to use and very different than actual fabric. But I think it's actually a really pretty dress and I'm kind of sad I don't have anywhere to wear it out right now. Like honestly, someone give me an event to wear this too. Like I'm ready. I'm very happy with the call I made with the flowers. I think the bigger ones suit the dress so much better and just make it a lot more proportionate. And I'm really happy with all the details that went into it. And even if I don't win this contest or even make it to the finals, I'm still really, really proud of what I did, honestly. I love the back of the dress too. I think that the flower straps are just absolutely stunning and the shoes go super well with it. And I just love it. And I love the clear detail that the little sectioning adds because it makes it a lot more interesting than just a solid gown. And here's the dress when it's all lit up at night. I love the way that the lights are really subtle, but they're still really bright. And it looked even better in person, but I wish I could have captured it for you guys. It was honestly like so stunning. I just really loved this dress. I'm pretty sure this dress took a total of 23 rolls of duct tape and 68 hours to complete, but I had a lot of fun doing it, so I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my process and kind of how I did it. And if you did, you can always hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to post a video every Friday, so we'll see how that goes. But just thank you again, and I hope to see you in my future videos. Bye!